Scary here. Um, well, it is about 8.45 in the morning, and I am going to what is probably going to be my last tournament in 5th edition. So I thought I'd uh, film, you know, getting there and stuff. Um, I know it's kind of hard to uh, really um, film a tournament game by game because sometimes people get a little sensitive about their results or they don't want, you know, or you're short for time and you can't really um, uh, gauge how much time you're going to have to be able to film. Um, but yeah, for posterity's sake, I had a good breakfast. It's always good to have a good breakfast. I slept well. Um, I made sure I had all the things I needed. A couple of army prints out of my army list. Uh, my display board. Uh, models. Stuff like that. Anyway, so, see you when we get there. So, here in the main hall, I'm going to be filming a couple of the armies that are present. We have some good space rules here, a couple of room priests, lots of rear hunters, lots of long pangs, lots of tanks. Yay, 5th edition army. We have a scarab farm, lots of tomb spiders, some wraiths, the, the storm lord, and a bunch of scarabs, and some warriors. This is 1500 points, remember? This is my army, of course. All set up on the display board. Oh, Tyranids. Some Venomthropes, Swarm Lord. Swarm Lord? Just a Tyrant. Uh, a couple of Trivagons. Uh, Trigon Prime. Just a Trigon. Just a regular Trigon. <laughs> Two units of Zoanthropes. Trivagon. Uh, t just a little dudes. And then a whole bunch of guys just for spawning. Now we have some Crimson Fist Marines. Uh, Dreadnought, Scythe, uh, you know, double... Marksman, Last Cannon, Auto large, Last Cannon, Auto Cannon, Dreadnought, okay, Marksman, Dread. This is another Marine Army, very nice Marine Army. We've got some nicely painted Marines in there. Oh, but they're all half painted. Well, you know, it's better than ha it's better to have them half painted than, like, primer and grey stuff. So you know Harold, hey Harold, say hi. Hey guys, hey. this is his... Tau Army, which is uh, 1,500 points of awesome. Lots and lots of broadsides. MVP to the And you played the Baneblade game. Yeah, Baneblade game. Poor Baneblade. Even though they didn't kill it, apparently. You're painting your stuff up for Astro. It's gonna look really sweet when that's done. There you go. Hey, looking really good there, sir. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Yeah. They look good. First company. I like it. Breakthrough is no outflanking on it. Yeah, hmm? you to, oh, sorry. And you have to. It's okay, don't worry about it. And you have to victory points, and it's Dawn of War. Oh, that's not bad. Get your stuff to the end of the board. Get your stuff <laughs> onto the other side. On okay. So you have to leave via your opponent's table edge. Okay, so that's a blitz. My round one opponent, and these are his his uh, nids, and we're going to be playing breakthrough. So we have to try get to each other's board edge. Uh, we actually had to put one object, one unit each, like in the old school. So that was fun. I put uh, bait units on either side, and then a main core in the middle with my incubi and my and my ravagers there, and he kind of deployed his monsterzilla up there somewhere. Yep. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. He's just moving right now. We only have an hour 45, so I'm filming while he's moving. And um, I rolled plus one attack for my drugs. Uh, jet bikes kind of moved over there. There was a big combat over here involving these witches, some zonthropes, and uh, the gaunts, but they all died to combat resolution because I. And so now he's going to shoot them. Um, these jumped into here, he blew up this raider over here, and they kind of like shuffled up that way. I killed a trigon with like everything, I had to use this venom to fire in there as well. These two ravages uh, only killed one venom throat. Remember, venom throat is a key target. And yeah, so now it's... Oh, and of course, that turvagon is out, and this turvagon can poop stuff still. Okay. Uh, we'll be back. Nids kind of moved up and shot and immobilized. Weapon destroyed that. Uh, they went to ground here, so he didn't charge. Uh, they've been shooting at the venom throats and only killed one because that guy, second time in a row, he's missed three launch shots. Uh, two venoms fired at the hive target that didn't have feel no pain, 
and uh, did one wound on the tyrant, did nothing on the guard. Then over here, this big mess, charged into the zone ropes, killed them. The jet bike's got the pain token. Then these guys charging in here, lost two because of counterattack and poison, and held them up, which is nice. Uh, over here, we had this combat. And I was, they got a paint token for killing the last little gaunt there, although that last gaunt killed the last man of my 10-man unit. My Incubi and Archon is still in there, and it's only turn it turn 3. Oh, these jet bikes zoomed across that other unit of Termagants and got a paint token for it. Anyway, so we'll be back. This big mess, the witches ended up dying, but that uh, he has two wounds left. And one wound on him. Was it two wounds on him? Um, two on the tyrant, one on the guard. Two on the tyrant. Okay, and then that guy didn't take any wounds. The jet bikes are still there. That kind of finished that off, moved up. And the Arc Incubi, and they jumped that Turbagon and killed it. So they got a pain token now, too. And so he's just kind of moving out of his deployment zone to get the secondary points and stuff. Okay, we'll be back. Just everything shuffling up to get off table edges, uh, moving my HQ up, just shooting, trying to shoot them to stop them from getting off the table edge. All right. And we'll be back. Mm, yeah, Dark Elder won this game. Uh, Kent, do you have any last comments? Next time, Gadget. Next time. There you go. That's as good as it's going to get. I got a bunch of units off the board, and it ended turn five, and I had all my stuff out of my deployment zone. And um, so, it, and it was a very fun game. And now we'll be on to round two. Round two. And now I'm playing on the Death Watch table. There are two Death Watch kill teams that come in and try and destroy your objective pylons. So you have to deal with my opponent, Justin, and the. the. <laughs> and the uh, Death Watch teams at Deep Strike and try to kill your objectives. So deployment and sort of turn one. Uh, he's deployed, tactical squad. 10 man, Typhoon. It's night fight this whole game, by the way. Um, five guys in there, five guys in there. Drop pod, he's gonna drop his stern guard right now. He's just figuring out where it's gonna go. I put 10 guys on this, safe from drop pod flamer, and in a good vantage point. And we have one objective, two objectives, three objectives, four objectives, five objectives, uh, down there somewhere, yep, and six objectives. Space Marines moved up a little bit more, then my reserves came in, wiped out counter on his squad, uh, moved up, but you can keep on doing it. Uh, the Death Watch is now deep striking. We had two models lost from, from a dangerous train here, and they both showed up, so we'll see what happens. Scourge failed to do anything as that, so they're in a tough spot. Now, something that's really nice is this Night Fight. Uh, we had a Dreadnought charge in there, Incubi moved up and killed that squad that was there with Venom help. I've knocked out the the rockets and immobilize that and they can't shoot. Uh, witches are still tied up against them. Uh, the jet bikes have boosted up here, ready to go after that. And so right now we're moving into turn four and they jumped in and ran towards that silo. I moved up my reserves, that I ignored. I moved up into this, I moved them ready to take that one, moved that ready to contest up there. That was stunned, uh, sorry, can't shoot. This is shot at my incubi right now. Yep, two wounds against the incubi, which I'll roll in a sec. The jet bike zoomed across then moved up and blew up that uh, whirlwind. That combat stayed. My Archon and Incubi run, ran into a depleted unit with just the Power Fist and the Captain left after a horrible rolling from the Death Watch and then wiped out the Death Watch Captain and the last one. And so now, so now we are looking at turn 5 with 25 minutes to go. End of round 2 and my we decided to end at turn 5 because I contested his objective. I held one to and I think that one was almost held. Three. This one was also contested because of Rhino. My Archon survived all that Death Watch goodness. Well, that's right, I contested. And then. <laughs> yeah. And then. Yeah, so that's uh, another win. And it's lunch break now. And uh, so far, it's been a lot of fun. I can't wait to play the Baneblade one. Start to round three, and yes, I get to play uh, the Baneblade against the Storm Master and the Necrons and lots of Scarabs. So right now we're in the deployment phase. Uh, Baneblade hasn't been able to do anything because the Storm Lord is making everything dark. And then uh, some reserves showed up. We had two units of Spiders and the Wraiths. Will the night fight continue? Will the night fight continue? It yes. does. I got reserves in and then my two Ravagers blew the Baneblade up. Yeah, it just exploded. Nothing ex It was like Ravager. Two pen, three pens, and then two fives, and then this Ravager, one pen, another five. So three structure points, gone. Which was crazy. And all the Necrons are huddled over there. 
So now they have to try and get back into position. And this Venom shot and put one wound on the front uh, Tomb Spider, which are all wound allocated. And they run six inches up to get their weapon spare. But there's no beam lead anymore. The Necrons, they're kind of shuffling up as fast as they can. This unit came up and charged that unit. He immobilized my Incubi Venom. And these guys are just jumping up over here. So do I need fives to hit you? Um, no, you need fours against them. All right, and then, yeah, so this is what it's looking like so far. Right now, we're seeing it three kill points from me to his one kill point, because he blew up that with lightning. These were just charging there and killed two and put their wound on the Lord. They're just tying them up so they don't go rampaging. Uh, this, I was able to charge, combi charge and got the the one unit of Tomb Spiders and the uh, Incubi into the, but now they're getting swarmed and then this other unit into here and then the jet bikes and stuff, so it's pretty tight. Round four and we have to kill each other's commander who's an objective, it's pitch battle. You, it's a weird deployment where you can only deploy certain things and I'm playing Harold. Nice. And his tower with lots of broadsides. Uh, I lost last game actually. Um, Necrons. I only got one kill point. I did kill the Baneblade, but uh, he got like two kill points more than me, which then meant a loss. So it's tight fought game. And now, because of time constraints, we're going straight into round four. Oh yeah. None of my reserves showed up turn three. Only turn two. I've been using the buildings and stuff to block line of sight, and uh, basically stay out of all his firebase over there. His commander, which is the objective, is back there, so I have to work my way there. I'm actually sending my commander for fun. Just wiped out a squad, wiped out another squad of suits. He still has a Tetra and a squad of suits to come in. Uh, the lighting is awful here, so sorry about that. Um, but yes, other than that, I hope it's not a draw, because then we'll draw each other out, and that sucks. Dark Eldar turn 4, and he's moved, doing turn 5. I got some reserves in, and just zoomed up to his position. So, we'll see if this turns out. Okay, so it ended turn 5, and he killed the Kroot, and then the broadside shot, but failed to stop the two Witch Raiders, who then jumped out and went to murder his commander. And, but it was contested because his commander was an objective and the, that Tetra was within three. Which meant that I didn't control it at the end of the game. Which means that instead of the ten points, I only got seven. Which, you know, three points. And I got plus two out of the plus three possible extra points. So I didn't get any negatives. So it was a good game. I was hoping to do that move a turn sooner. Like turn four instead of turn... Sorry, turn three instead of turn four. To then jump him turn four and then have a turn to mop up. But that didn't really happen. So yeah, that, it's been a lot of fun. Had lots of good games. Um, little mid hiccup on round three against the Necrons. So now we'll... I think we drew each other out of the tournament. We'll see what the results are at the end. Okay, so that's it. It's done. That's the end of the tournament. It's about six o'clock in the afternoon. I get to go home, hang out with the family. And uh, I was second place overall and I uh, got a little trophy. And uh, I was two points away from the top spot, which means that if I would have uh, massacred with a 10 point instead of drawing for seven points, I would have taken the advantage uh, the game at the the last game there against the town. Overall, fantastic fun day. Uh, those astro missions were really fun. So yeah, and uh, yeah, for the last, that's a good good way. I think we're going to be having like a fifth edition mega battle or something in the end. So we'll see. But thanks a lot for watching. As always, you can uh, go to the podcast, scarred.podbean.com, slash um, check out the YouTube channel, which you should be on now if you're watching this, and uh, like the videos, and it's always a, a hoot. Comments are greatly appreciated. It helps improve content. And I'll talk to you soon.